Hello one and all and welcome back to another weekly release video and today we are at Join Charred Path which is the next bit in the Queen of Monsters saga so we are going to hop straight in here there are plenty of quests for us to do and the first one you literally accept from Warlock and you just have to click on Limb and the quest will automatically pop up for you and you will have completed it. Next of all we move on to the second quest here over at Lim, and he will get you along to Join Crash Site where here you need to defeat some of the Dwackles and once you have defeated I believe it is six of those come out into this area here and you'll see there is a canister right of the wheel in front of a tree which you just have to click on right here it does not pop up with an arrow i presume they wanted to hide it a little bit from us once you've done that you can head back and we have completed the second quest so third one is up and first item you need to click on is just to the right there in the first room on the little box and you come along defeat some of the toxic biles and then some of the toxic fumes once you've defeated enough of those you can just head back and turn in the next quest it is it's all pretty straightforward so far. Okay, so next up, just click where I click. There are six little troubles and little skeleton-y things you need to click on. And then just head back and defeat some of the bats. I got the drop from the bat, I believe. That may be the only monster that drops it. I didn't really try too many others, but just go along and defeat bats. Two of them spawn in that room, so they come back pretty quickly. Once you've done that, you can head back and, of course, turn the quest in. So next up, we come along as far as you can currently go to where the tree ants are. And there are three arrows you'll have to click on. They'll just pop up one after the other in three different sort of mini locations in that little room just there as you saw and then you just have to defeat some of the tree ants once you have done that you've completed the next quest i believe it's quite a few tree ants you have to defeat actually for that one but there again it's not that time consuming because they don't have very much health at so, so next up we come along and you just have to defeat some of the bunnies they're in the next area you unlocked after clicking on the trees they do not drop every time this one so don't worry if you don't get the drop every single time so next up we have to defeat some of the plagues but before you do that if you head back into the previous room i was in you can see there are some little bushes you put out with some fire then if you head back again you'll see the arrows will have popped up here and you can get the last three there are six in total and they're in the rooms next to each other which you just saw then just come along defeat some of the plague spreaders and you will have completed the next quest. So next up, we are doing something very important, which is just heading back to Twilly, and all you do is press Detox, and it will also turn in the quest for you. I believe you also get a little cutscene, yes you do, and we get the next set of quests. Okay, so these quests are, again, fairly straightforward. First, we'll join the rift and just click on the people I click on. There are four for you to click on, and they just literally just walk around the map, go in the tents, and you'll find them all. They're not hidden away very difficult and then there are some little boxes which you see spawning in the first few areas and you can just defeat them and they will drop you the items you need that one was a little bit annoying because obviously they didn't have much health and a lot of people were trying to defeat them so be patient with that quest but you will get it defeated so next up we have the boss just head along as far as you can currently go and you just simply defeat it it had about 40,000 health I believe 30 odd thousand so again not too hard and quite easy to solo and last but not least you just need to do exactly what I do so you can advance up again you have to defeat all the monsters in each of the areas once you've done that you advance to the little second area do exactly the same thing and that will lead you on to what you need to do for the final quest which is quite simply click on what i thought was going to be a boss fight and was not so you literally just click on it it will turn the quest in you'll get a cutscene, and that is everything done there so as always if that has helped you at all make sure you leave this video with a like and subscribe i'll be of course back again for the next weekly release and anything else i feel like doing midweek and of course adventure quest 3d thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day